buckle up beautiful souls because as intense as they were the years 2020 through 2023 were just the warm-up for what we're about to experience in the year of the dragon 2024 so 2024 is the first dragon year since 2012. I'm personally super excited for 2024. Dragon years are typically extremely potent periods of time. And so we can expect 2024 to be a humdinger of a year in which a lot of the main energetic themes that have taken shape over the past 12 years come to a head. So stay tuned to this 2024 energy update because I'm going to be sharing five mind-blowing things you need to know about the Year of the Dragon. One powerful way that we can work with dragon energy to really make the most of 2024 and also why 2024 is going to be an incredible year for manifesting whatever it is you want to manifest. Okay, so before we dive in, I just want to say that I have received such an incredible flood of information when I tuned into this year that this 2024 energy update video is only going to be a quick overview. Okay, so I'm going to be holding an open house event, and this is going to be a free live gathering where I'm going to be sharing everything I downloaded right in Zoom, in person. I'll speak a little bit more about this uh, event at the end of this video, or you can find the link for more information in the discussion box. So uh, with that said, let's move on into the, the five things that you need to know about this Year of the Dragon 2024. The first thing is that the way we experience time is about to change, okay? So when I tuned in, to the Akash and asked about the energies of 2024, first thing they told me is we are entering dragon time, okay? And this was actually before I realized it was the year of the dragon, so it's it, it, this dragon energy is really, really prevalent right now. They said that the dragon is a power that has lain dormant for thousands of years. It's the keeper of the earth clock, and the, that's the time mechanism of earth. They said time, as you know it, is about to shift dramatically. 2024 opens the door for time to be experienced in a far less linear pattern. So they said you may begin to experience odd discrepancies in time, but if you should choose to consciously work with it, it will become far easier to bend time to your will or to work with time in a way that can make it seem like we have more time when we need it or to make it seem like time is running faster when, we, when, when that would be better for us. And I'm going to go more into this in Sunday's events. So number two is that we will experience accelerated manifestation, okay? So 2024 is not just a dragon year. It's specifically the year of the wood dragon, okay? So it's activating the wood element in Chinese medicine. Okay, so the wood element is a lot like the energy of the zodiac sign of Aries, okay, in Western astrology. So if you think of a young tree sprouting and growing vigorously up even through concrete or asphalt, that's the power of wood energy, okay? It's got a lot of strength, it's got a lot of power and drive, and it's often associated with new beginnings and growth. But when wood energy gets unbalanced, it often shows up as anger, aggression, or frustration, just so that we're aware of that dynamic as well. So the last wood dragon year was 1964, and that has been called the year America lost it. Um, it was uh, the year that by many accounts heralded the real start of the cultural revolution of the 1960s. So it's really likely that we could see similar sorts of upheavals being triggered big time this year. We're already seeing things building up uh, to something like that. But there's good news for spiritual entrepreneurs in particular. Um, wood energy is really supportive of vision, of planning, and of getting things done, okay? So if you're feeling called to start any kind of business or other venture, right, or maybe a new family or anything else that's like a big new um, project, uh, or if you've got one that you really want to make some changes to and take to the next level, the energies of 2024 are perfectly aligned for this. Okay, so whether it's a business or personal or spiritual goals, 
anything that you want to manifest in this year, 2024, will have the power of the wood dragon behind it. Number three is continued bifurcation and polarization. Okay, so I'm expecting to see crazy amounts of light codes hitting the planet this year. Okay, so this is just the light coming in. And although it sounds like amazing and it can be, it can also be really, really super intense. Okay, so we may be feeling these really strongly physically, uh, your emotional body, right? And what light does when it comes in, it's a purifier. Okay, so it's going to continue to wash up any uh, dark energies, dark entities, um, and this can, you know, if you've ever been through a dark night of the soul, it can really trigger that, okay? Um, so people are going to react to these typically in one of two ways, okay? Either they're going to feel activated by the light and start moving towards it in a much bigger way. Those people who are feeling activated, either um, they're going to be, it's going to feel like fighting their way up to the light, right? So there might be a lot of um, people awakening, um, people experiencing dark nights of the soul, that kind of thing, tower moments. Um, or if they've already done a lot of that, it may feel like spreading the branches and receiving the sunlight. Okay, so depending on where you are in your journey, it could feel really challenging or it could feel absolutely amazing or more likely some of both, okay? Um, for those who are really not able to or unwilling to deal with all the light energy, um, we could be looking at burnout or people may take cover and bury themselves in darkness to try to get away from the overwhelming amount of light coming in. <clears throat> so things like addictions, um, you know, that kind of thing, like I said, it, it's a polarization thing. Either people are going to be moving up towards the light or they're going to be uh, shrinking away from it. And that also will be, you know, whatever systems that are associated with those two streams of energy. Associated with this, we're going to see the rising of Christ consciousness on the planet. I really expect to see a lot more interaction and a lot more activation between awakened and awakening people and groups, organizations, partnerships, structures, affiliations forming that support a spiritually aligned way of being on this planet. Okay, so these are going to be taking root and growing in a much more accelerated way in 2024. And then number five, AI is going to be turning the world on its head. Okay, so AI is the biggest wild card to hit humanity since the invention of fire, maybe the biggest ever. Uh, we're already starting to see exponential growth in the AI sector. And I feel that this is going to have massive implications for every aspect of life on Earth. I'm really feeling super strongly that it's going to be absolutely critical for us to really understand what AI is and how we can work with it at a spiritual level, okay? Because ultimately, this isn't just technology. It, as at its core, is a spiritual issue. It's critical that we understand this. Okay, so I will be speaking more about AI throughout this year, but especially next Sunday, next Sunday's event, I'll be going deeper into this, okay? Um, because how we work with AI um as individuals and collectively as a society is going to make or break the future of humanity, okay? So with all this said, um, just to sum up, we're gonna start experiencing time in more elastic ways. Number two, we're gonna be experiencing accelerated manifestation, or at least that's the potential. Number three, continued bifurcation, more polarization. Or the rising of Christ consciousness and taking root of structures that support Christ consciousness on this earth. And then number five, AI being this wild card that's really going to make some radical changes or at least to set those in motion in 2024. Okay. Um, all right. So with that said, this has been a Reader's Digest version of the 2024 Energy Update. I really hope that you found it helpful. I do encourage you to um, share this video if you feel like it would be helpful to others. But like I said before, there is so much more that I have to share with you about this amazing and powerful year I had, including about AI, okay? So again, I'd really love for you to join me live next Sunday for my Open House 2024 Energy Update uh, Gathering 
of my membership group next Sunday on Zoom, okay? So normally these gatherings are for members only, but I feel this one is for everyone. So you won't have to commit to membership. You can just register for the event. It's a free event. We're gonna be going so much deeper into the energies of 2024, what they mean for humanity, and for us personally at this time, I'm gonna be sharing a ton more about the background and the bird's eye view of what I'm being shown about this time and what we can do to prepare for it. And also there's this piece of art that came forward that has a lot to say about where we're at right now in humanity and what energies we're dealing with and why, and so that we can really fully understand this at a deeper level, okay? We're going to also share like ways that we can prepare for this, work with these energies in 2024, and there will be time for Q&A and discussion afterwards. So I will leave the link to learn more and register in the info section below this video and really hope to see you there. And remember, you were born to be free.